On this episode of You, Me, and Sicily, we take you to Santo Stefano de Camastra, located at the base of the Nabrodi Mountains in the province of Messina. The main part of town is perched on a small hill overlooking the Tyrrhenian Sea. The town is mainly known for its unique ceramics, but the beaches are also spectacular. present-day town was founded in 1683 by Giuseppe Lanza, Duke of Camastra, who rebuilt the town after a terrible landslide that destroyed the original town. While there's evidence of pottery production since the Arabs were in Sicily in the 9th century, the town got a boost in the 17th century because of the need for bricks and tiles to rebuild the town. Everywhere we go, there's something of ceramics. Città de ceramica. In fact, the entire town is decorated with ceramic tiles, vases, pottery, and more. As you walk along the main street, be prepared to be wowed by the outdoor display of ceramics bursting with color. Most of these pieces are still handmade by local artisans using a multi-step process. These are so beautiful. Look at this. The Trinacria. The sharp, fire-red ceramics of Santo Stefano de Camastra stand out from the rest. Here, the production of piña, or pine cones, and testa di moro, the moorheads, are also important. Pina. You know what these are? Pine cones. And you can only get this as a gift or you gift it to someone really nice when you have a new house. You put it outside for buona fortuna, good luck. Or if someone just got married, these are great, great gifts. Now, should you get the same color? I would say yes. So there you go, la piña. There are also plenty of items for everyday use in the house besides decorations. I always like to wander off the main streets and manage to find something interesting. Via Nuova. Here's some typical fruits and vegetables from the area. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Questa è tutti locale? Sì. E certo, Palermo. Are you enjoying this video? Please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos from and around Sicily. This shop is great. Look at this handmade Sicilian cart. But what I really love are these dresses. Look at the motif. I don't know, what do you guys think? This one or this one? I think I like the lemon one. Great little shop here. For a quick bite, we stop at a coffee shop called Belvedere. These guys have the right idea. Granita, Granita limone, and the brioche. Look at how he eats it. You dip it in there. Buono. E tu? Pizza. Hmm? Pizza. Ah, and the pizza. And these are typical lunch foods. We have the pizza with the hot dog and french fries, the margarita, the ham and cheese. 
e arancini, vero? Ragù e prosciutto cotto e mozzarella. Your typical takeaway lunches and of course here are the panini. E come chiama questa? Cartocci. Cartocci. Cartocci fritti con la ricotta sì. o con la crema? Uh, mandorla con crema e mandorla con panna cream. Oh, but look at the cassata. Looking good. And the little cannoli and the bigger one. Across the cafe is this memorial dedicated to the fallen soldiers from Santo Stefano who fought in wars. And this view. Next, a stroll through one of the side streets parallel to the main street. On the way, we briefly stop at the Mother Church and wait till you see this other view. Ciao. Ciao. The Mother Church of Santo Stefano di Camastra is San Nicolo di Bari. The church was the first religious structure to be built in the town in 1685 after the landslide. It is located in the Piazza Metrice. Santo Stefano de Camassa is not the only town in Sicily known for its ceramics. You guys know about the other ones? We've talked about it lots of times on this channel. Santo Stefano de Camassa, Caltegirone, and Shaka. They all have very unique styles on ceramics. I'll leave you a link to the video we did on all three towns on the description. And until then, see you on another episode of You, Me, and Sicily. Ciao! Thank you.